To set up Flutter SDK in your macOS, simply move to your browser and search for Flutter and click this very first link download Flutter SDK and this will take you in here build apps for any screen then you can go for get started and here you will find the install for Windows, Mac OS, Linux and Chrome OS so we can go for the Mac OS in here you will find the system requirements so you can check your and accordingly install the Flutter SDK for your Mac OS. So first of all to set up the Flutter SDK for your Mac OS and if you are using the Apple Silicon Mac so you have to run this command in order to install the Rosetta translation environment. After it has been done then you can go for getting the SDK. If you have the Intel Mac OS, you can go for this one. And again, if you have the Apple Silicon, you can go for this one. So after downloading the Flutter SDK, it will be stored in the downloads in your Mac OS. Then you can go and run this unzip downloads and the Mac OS SDK to unzip that SDK that you have just downloaded. So you have to open your terminal and simply past this unzip the downloads flutter macOS the SDK that you have just downloaded. So after unzipping this SDK close your terminal and go for the finder. After your SDK has been unzipped in your downloads you will see something like this flutter. And inside this there will be the bin directory analysis yaml dot documents dot yaml and all of the other directories and files like dev examples flutter console dot bat etc. So once you have this flutter SDK you have to move this from downloads to your user file. If you don't have user file directly in your finder so you can go from here by clicking this go and simply go for this computer and then go for the Macintosh HD and you will find the users in here and your user home folder in here. So then paste your Flutter SDK by creating a directory with your desired name. As I have the Flutter dev and inside I have the Flutter. So simply you have to download the Flutter SDK for your Mac OS and simply move it from downloads to your home folder and store it in some folder of your desired name as I have the Flutter dev. Then now as you have the Flutter SDK, now you can go for setting up the path. So in the browser you will also find the instruction for setting the path in your Mac OS. You will find the update your path. Click this. This will take you to update your path headline and here you can see if you are using bash you can use the home bash profile and bash RC and if you are using Z shell you can use this Z shell RC to set up the path for your Flutter SDK in your Mac OS. So as we are using the Z shell you can see in here. So simply we have to create one file named ZSHRC. So you can create this directly in your home. You can do this by touch dot ZSHRC and if you enter then your Z shell RC file will be created. So I already have created one so I'm not going to create another one. So after running this command you will have a file same like this. Then you can open it and simply from the browser you can copy this to set up the path for your Flutter SDK. Here you can see the export path and the path of your Flutter directory. You can copy this and paste it inside here. So I already have one so I'm not going to set it again. For you, you have to paste it like this. And then to get your path of your Flutter SDK, you have to go for your Flutter dev in my case and go for the Flutter. And to get the path to the bin, you have to click on two fingers on your Mac touchpad and you will see this window appeared and simply hold your option button in your keyboard of Mac OS and here you can see the copy bin as path name. Copy this and you will have a path of your Flutter SDK to bin and your path will look something like this. Let me show you in the terminal. Here your path to your Flutter SDK. So after this you have to paste your path in here after the column the Flutter SDK path and then save the Z shell RC file and there you go. The Flutter SDK path for your Mac is successfully set up. Then you can go for the terminal again and run the command of Flutter doctor. 
After this, you will see your Flutter has been set up in your Mac OS and all of the other information Android toolchain, Xcode Develop, Chrome Android Studio version, VS Code and all of that stuff. So initially, if you set up Flutter SDK and you don't have the Xcode and also the other licenses, so you will have some crosses in here that you don't have this. So you have to also download and set up all of these for your Flutter. For example, the Xcode and the Cocoa boards in especially macOS. So I currently have no issues found. So if you are doing it initially, you might have issues here. So you have to fix them. And to fix them, you will also find the information in the same browser where we were setting up our SDK from the Flutter official documentation. Here we have the platform support. So to install Xcode and you don't have the Xcode and here you are getting that you don't have the Xcode. So you can download the Xcode from the web and also from the Mac App Store. And then you can use this command to configure the Xcode in your command line tools. And you're good to go. Next, you will also be able to open the simulator after installing the Xcode. And then you also have to install the Coca Pods. Here you'll find the information about the Coca Pod here. You have to install the Coca Pods by running this command. And these Coca Pods are especially for apps that depends upon the plugins with the native iOS code. So again, if you're using the Apple Silicon Mac, so you have again run to this command. And for the Android setup, you have this documentation written by Flutter developers. So you can also use this to set up for Android in your Mac OS. So that was it for setting up the Flutter SDK in your Mac OS. To set up Flutter SDK for your Windows OS, you have the option for Windows. So simply go for it. Inside, you will see the system requirements and here get the SDK. So from here, you can download the Flutter SDK for Windows and the same Flutter Windows stable.zip will be downloaded and simply extract this Flutter SDK to your local disk C in your desired name folder such as I have this source and I have extracted the Flutter SDK inside and I got this Flutter and we have the same files as we had in the Mac OS when we were setting up the Flutter SDK for our Mac OS. So inside we have the same bin file, dev examples and the analysis YAML here and all of these files. So after your SDK has been downloaded and is extracted in your local disk C in Windows, you have to set the path again. To set the path in Windows, you have to open your search in Windows and go for the environment variables. Here inside the environment variables, you will go for the environment variables. This is the system property setting. So inside this, we have the environment variables and here go for the path and edit the path. Simply, I already have the inside the local disk C inside the source. I have flutter and bin. So it means I have successfully set up the flutter SDK for my windows. So to copy the path, you have this simply click this search tab and copy this path from here you can go to the bin and then copy it so this is the flutter sdk path so you can set this path in your environment variables by going inside the path and add the new and paste your path inside and click ok apply and you are good to go so after this your path will be set up and your flutter sdk is successfully set up in windows also so this time you can open the cmd and run the flutter doctor to check how is it going so again if there is some missing the flutter doctor will tell you to install the requirements and then you will be good to go with flutter so in my case i have three issue in android studio unable to find the bundle java file and unable to find the bundle java version and also i have visual studio not installed so i have to install the Visual Studio Code and also the desktop development with C++ tools from the VS Code build tool. So you will find the Visual Studio Code build tools from where you are downloading the Visual Studio Code. And for these two issues, if you have the same issues, so you can follow this answer in the Stack Overflow. So you will find the solution in here for the Windows. As Windows is not my development environment and I don't have the updated versions of everything. So that is why I got these errors. So I hope so.
you will not have these errors. If so, then you can visit the Stack Overflow question answers. You will find the link in the video description. So that's all for setting up the Flutter SDK in your Windows. Download the SDK, extract it somewhere and set the path in the environment variables and there you go. Your SDK is set up and then the only thing you have to do is to install some requirements. For example, again, we don't have the Visual Studio Code build tools of the desktop development C++. So that is why we are getting this issue and also these issues. That is because our Android Studio is not updated or their bundle is not fine. So the resolution is also here in the question of the stack overflow that I just show you. So you will find the solution in the answer of that question in the stack overflow that I have given the link in the video description. So that's it for setting up Flutter SDK in Windows.